Hello, good day. Welcome to Bitpass Point of Sales Tutorial. In this video, we will learn on how to use the category adding, items adding, sales pricing, inventory adjustments, and viewing of inventory reports. First, open your back office. Log in with your admin credentials. Select items slash inventory tab. Locate item categories and open it. In the Bitpass system we are arranging the items based on their category. Make sure that when you add an item, you have a corresponding category for that item. Now we will make a category sample for grocery items. This POS is not exclusive for grocery only. We are showing you this time a grocery category since it is very common in the market. You are open to make your own category based on what you are selling. If you want to add another category, we must configure the settings of your desired category to be added in the system. Item tax type, regular. Item type, purchased. Unit of measure, piece, it depends on how you sell your items. After that, jump to. Type, category. POS quick picks, no, if you are operating a restaurant, cafe in the legs and you want to add a picture to your categories and items make this into, yes. For this grocery category, there is no need to put an image. If your POS Quick Picks is in yes, you can add an image to your category by clicking the Choose File and navigate through File Explorer of the system. After configuring the settings of the category, put the category name. Category name, Bottle Drinks. Move to the bottom and click the Add New button. After successfully adding the category there is a green text notification that you have successfully added a category. After adding all needed categories, for your items you can proceed to item adding, just click, the items button in the navigation bar. You will be redirected to item adding page. In item adding page, just focus on the left section. Jump directly to name. Name, Coca-Cola, original taste, 2 liters. Description, just copy and paste the characters in the name section. Note, name and description should always be the same. Category, Bottle Drinks. Choose what category corresponds to your item. Item Tax Type, Regular. Item Type, Purchased. Units of Measure, Piece. It depends on how you sell your product. Editable Description, Checked. This is for editing capabilities to the item especially when you are adding an expiry date to the product. Exclude from Sales, Leave this blank. After that go back to the item code. In the item code, you can either input your own desired barcode by manually typing it. You can also click the generate barcode for those items that does not have barcodes. Automatically, the system will generate an 8-digit barcode for that specific item. Lastly you can use your barcode scanner to scan the barcode of the item. Just click the text box in the item code section, and then scan the barcode. After successfully added the item code of the item, review your work, and if you're already satisfied with the settings, click, insert new item button to save your item in the system. After clicking you will see a green text notification that you have successfully added an item. Next we will proceed to sales pricing section. Click sales pricing. In the sales pricing section, we will input here, the selling price of our items. First, we will search the item that we want to add a price. In the item text box, search for the keyword of your item. For sample item we will use the Coca-Cola original taste. Just use the Coca keyword and press enter. Click the drop down arrow to verify if the item is what you are looking for. And just click it to select. In the sales type, choose retail. If you have multiple pricing for your product, we can add another sales type for that. Just click the I button in the upper right corner of the screen to view sales type video tutorial. Let's proceed, input the sales price of the item. Click the add new button. You will see a green text notification above after successfully adding the retail price. After adding the retail price, let's proceed to input our stock inventory of the items. Click inventory adjustments. In this inventory method, no need to specify your supplier. You will just directly input your inventory to the system. In the location section, you will choose where to receive the items. Now let us receive it into store. In the type, we will choose positive adjustment. In the positive adjustment, this means that you will add the inventory to the system. 
If ever you want to remove some inventory from the system, it might be a damage or expired products you will choose the negative adjustment to remove these items from the inventory. Let's proceed by adding a positive adjustment to our Coca-Cola item. In the item code box, input the keyword Coca and press enter. In the item description, click the drop down arrow to verify if this is the item that you are looking for. After that just click the item you want to put in inventory. In the expiry date section, you can add the expiry date of the said product. Just click the small calendar and choose the expiry date. In the quantity section, put the quantity of the item that you want to add in the system. For this inventory, we will add 100 pieces. In the unit cost, input here the cost of your product or in other words the capital of each item. After doing that, click the add item button. This will take the Coca-Cola item with quantity into queue. If you want to add another product in the inventory, just search the item in the item code and then do the same thing the Coca-Cola item. If you are done. If you want to have some details of this adjustment, input some memo. After you are done, just click the process adjustment button in order to input those queued items into the system. Note, if you refresh the page without clicking the process adjustment button, it will delete all your queued items. You will redo your work if that happens. Make sure clicking the process adjustment button before refreshing the page. After that, another green text notification will appear in the upper portion of the page. Since we are done inputting the inventory, we will check the reports of our inventory with regards to this adjustment. Click Reports section. In the Report class, choose Inventory. Click Stock Movement Report. In the right column, you can filter your inventory category, locations, and also the dates for the report. First, we will choose a category bottle drinks. We will just choose the date of today, since we input our inventory a while ago. The report has two destination file formats, PDF and Excel file. Now, we will just choose the PDF file output format. After setting the parameters, click, display, stock movement report. In the report we can see that we have an inward of 100 pieces for today. If we did not sell any of the Coca-Cola today, the inventory will reflect as an opening balance tomorrow containing 100 pieces. If we sold some Coca-Cola for today it will reflect in the outward section. And it will display the remaining balance of the item in the system. And, that is the basic flow of the BitBus system. Next in the video series, we will learn on how to do the cashiering, so stay tuned. Until then, thank you for watching. This has been Tech James for your BitBus tutorials. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified whenever Bitpus post another tutorial or new products.